Hi guys, uh, Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be looking at question 8 in the January 2022 paper. All right. Um, let's see what else question 8. Okay, so in question 8, they give us a function, right? And this function here is a quadratic function. So if you are not seeing it properly, this is what it is. It's f of x is equal to 3 plus 5x, right, minus x squared. So the reason why I know that this is a um, this is a quadratic has to do with the fact that this here, we have an x squared term in this um, equation, right? And the other thing do, though I know is that it's minus x squared. So without even drawing anything, I know exactly what this graph is supposed to look like, right? should look like this. That's how that graph should look because the coefficient of x squared is negative, right? Um, so they give us a table to complete. So there's a typical exam question, right? So you know what f of x is? We need to find f of zero. So f of zero, all I'm gonna do is substitute it into my function. So this here is gonna be three plus five by zero minus zero squared. So this is gonna be three. Five by zero is zero. Zero squared is zero. So therefore f of zero is equal to three. So therefore I'm gonna put three inside of here, right? The next thing I'm gonna find is f of one. f of one, right, is gonna be three plus five by one minus one squared. So this is going to be three plus five minus one. Now this is five and three is eight. Eight minus one is seven. So this here is going to be seven. Then I need to work out this one here, f of four. All right, so f of four is equal to three plus five by four minus four squared. So this is 3 plus 20 minus 4 for the 16. Um, 20 minus 16 is 4, 4 and 3 is 7. So this here is going to be 7, right? And the last one I need to work out now is f of 6. So f of, f of 6 is equal to 3 plus 5 by 6 minus 6 squared. So that is 3 plus 6 is a 30 minus 6, 6 is a 36. So 3 plus 30 is 33. 33 minus 36 is going to give me minus, minus 3. Right? So this here is going to be minus 3. So those are my um, values for my table. The next thing they want us to do on the grid, so they gave us a, a graph paper, right? I've just drawn a clean one here. And they want us to draw the graph um, of f of x, right? But they're giving us for a particular domain. Now the domain they want is from minus one to six, which is essentially what our table is showing us, right? So they've plotted some of the points for us. So we're gonna plot the rest. Um, so let's see, the point, first one is minus one, minus three. All right, so that's, that's down here, right? Um, the next one is zero, 0, 3. So 0, 3 is going to be this one here. Right? Um, what is next one? We have 1, 7. So you're going to plot 1, 7. That's here. Right? The next one we had to work out was 4. That was 4, 7. 4, 7 is here. They already plotted 5, 3 for us. So the last point is 6 minus 3. So six minus three is somewhere down here, right? So basically they want us to complete this graph. So all you guys need to do is take your sharpen pencil, right? And you're basically going to try to sketch this graph. Right, it's kind of hard for me to do this using Right? 
So this is what your graph is supposed to look like. All right. So what I've done, I've given you a, a clean curve. This is my curve here. All right. Now, what they want us to do now in part B, part one, write down an equation of the axis of symmetry. So when they ask you for the axis of symmetry, the axis of symmetry is simply a line, a vertical line, right? That is a mirror line on this quadratic, right? So I'm going to draw a vertical line. All right, so let's just make this red, make it a little thicker. All right, so I'm going to draw a mirror line. So what I'm going to do, that mirror line is somewhere around here. All right, now if you look carefully where that mirror line is, right, that is actually midway between 2 and 3. So that's 2.5, right? So therefore, my mirror line here is actually x is equal to 2.5, right? Or 2.5. So when I ask you, write down the equation. Notice what I said, eh? equation. So you're going to put x is equal to 2.5, right? That's one mark just for saying that. And the next part, they want you to state the maximum value of the function. Now, you have actually plotted the function here, right? So the maximum value is this point up here, right? So we can use our graph to figure that out. Um, so let's see. That's 9 point. All right, so make sure you understand how to read your scale, right? This here is 8.2, 8.4, 8.6, 8.8. So 8 .8. every small line represents 0.2. So that's about 9 point, my best estimate there is about 9.3. Now that's for my graph, eh? If you actually do the calculation, you will get something slightly different. So this is around um, 9.3, right? So state the maximum value, 9.3, right? There's another way we can work this out. We can actually substitute 2.5 into my equation. So what you could do as well, right? But since it made us draw the graph, I'll use the graph. But what we could have done is taken the 2.5, right? Find f of 2.5. So this is going to be 3 plus 5 by 2.5 minus 2.5 squared, right? So I'm just going to use the calculator to work that out. So that is 3 plus brackets. 5 by 2.5 minus 2.5 squared, right? So, so the actual value is actually 9.25, right? But if you put 9.3 based on your graph, that is fine. What else do they want us to work in this question? Write down the coordinates of the point where the line, so this here, is a straight line, right? And how do I know that? That equation resembles y equal mx plus c, right? That is why I can see that's a straight line. So you want to know what is, or where does a graph cut the x-axis? Now, when I, a, a, a line cuts the x-axis, right? That is a point where y is equal to 0, right? That is where your graph cuts your x-axis. So all we need to do here is to substitute y is equal to zero into that equation. So if we do that, right, um, we're gonna get three minus a half x is equal to zero, right? Actually, I'll write it the next way. Zero is equal to three minus a half x. So therefore, a half x is equal to three all right, and therefore x is equal to 3 by 2. So therefore x is equal to 6, all right? x is equal to 6. So therefore the graph cuts the x-axis, right, at this coordinate here, 6, 0. That's where you're going to cross the x-axis, right? Now to figure out where you're crossing the y-axis, right, that's your y-intercept, or that's the point x is equal to 0. Now, since this equation here is already written in the form y is equal to mx plus c, 
right? I know that my window, my y intercept is actually zero three, but let's substitute zero into um, that equation. So y is equal to three minus a half by zero. That's going to give me three minus zero, which is equal to three. So therefore, your y intercept, right? or way across the um, y-axis is going to be 0, 3, right? So this is my answer for part 1, this is my answer for part 2. Next thing they want us to work out, on the, gra All right, so on the graph, they want us to draw the same graph here. 3, y is equal to 3 minus a half x. So we already know two points that lie on that line. The first one is 6, 0, and the other one is 0, 3. So let's see, so 6, 0 is here, right? So this is 6, 0. And the next one is 0, 3. So that's here. Right? That's my next point there. Now they want us to draw the graph. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw a straight line passing through those points. Right? So we're just going to draw a line that's going to pass through these two points here. All right? That's the 6, 0 and the 0, 3. So that's it. You take your ruler and you draw that line. Right? So, so the quadratic here is f of x is equal to what it was? 3 plus 5x minus x squared. 3 plus 5x minus x squared. And the straight line that we just drew was y is equal to 3 minus a half x. y is equal to 3 minus a half x. Right? So that's what I want for this part here. Now they said use the graph to determine the solution to the equations. So you already drew this curve and you already draw this straight line and you want to determine the solutions. So when they ask you for the solutions, they're talking about the points of intersection. Right? Where does that line cut the curve? That would be essentially what they're asking us for. So you go to this, right? And when you come here now, you're trying to see where are we cutting. You're intersecting at this point, right? So 0, 3 is one point. And then this other point here, this is the next point, right? So points of intersection. Right? So the first one we're gonna intersect at zero three. And the second one we're gonna intersect at five point five, and that's about maybe point three. So five point five and maybe 0 0.3, right? That's where I'm intersecting, right? So the question asks for the points of intersection, right? And we have that here already. So that's going to be 0, 3, and 5.5, again, 0 0.3. Right? So that's the answer for that part there. All right? So that brings us to the end of question 8. So if you haven't done so, please hit like and subscribe to my maths channel. Okay, guys?